Well, hello there, YouTube. Today is Wednesday. It's my day off. Took my GoPro with me this morning. I rode 94 miles, but I, I forgot my CF card. I left it in the in the reader when I rode the Spider yesterday. So, no wonder why I didn't see a red uh, red flash on the back of this camera. I saw the red square, and that was the CF card. So I, I sit there talking and talking. It wasn't even recording. But I was saying uh, earlier that I didn't get recorded. We had a tornado warnings here on Monday. Ooh, it doesn't look very nice over that way right now. Um, we had warnings. It wasn't a watch. It was a warning. So come across the TV. And, and we had a tornado. I live in Leander. Then we got Liberty Hill. Then we got Bertram. It hit Bertram. And it wiped out this really old historic McGill building. It wiped out like a, a restaurant and a donut shop. And yeah, I'll go by there and kind of show you. If I don't get rained on, it's not supposed to rain until tonight. It did cloud up though. Bye. Oh, I got a uh, oh, 20 amp kind of a breaker type outlet above my stove where the microwave is and it was a uh, it was an old one I probably it's probably the original with the house or maybe I replaced it not too long after but I did it today and I and I didn't you know it's just two wires in the ground but I got in there and I I shocked myself and then uh, I was trying to get that ground wire on because on the bottom and these this new uh, breaker if the screws don't come out they could they, they're out but they just if you tip it sideways they go right back in so that was a pain so I, I made a big old spark and that flipped the breaker outside so I went and got a voltmeter so I wouldn't do that again and I checked it and it was off so it was a lot easier to do when there's no power to it I restarted my uh, my heart palpitations <laughs> but I got it changed out and plugged it back in it seems to be fine the other one as soon as you plug in the microwave it just boop flip the switch but maybe the thing's bad but it's working now bye well, hello there again YouTube let's see next week we got uh, my youngest son's wedding in Galveston, so we got to go down there. Then the week after, we got to leave early on Tuesday, and I'll take Wednesday off again. And we got to go back up to the house in Cattle Mills. We have to pick out, um, oh, we got to meet with the electrician to see where we want outlets around the house, in the shop. And you know wherever else and then we got to meet with a cabinet guy the cabinet guy and electrician is going to be out there so we'll have to said it's going to take about three hours but I want power we're doing a oh I think it's 40 feet by 10 feet concrete along the shop and I'm going to do a lean-to like a covered I call it a lean-to but I want to do that and then I want outlets there because I'm going to get a uh, the Blackstone griddle and it the one I want the air fire is gonna have to have electricity to, to for the fan to run. And I always want electricity out there anyway, but I want a lot of electricity outlets in my shop. I think there's a bunch, but I'll, I'll probably get a few more. And then oh we ought to meet with a cabinet maker too because uh, we want to do a build a a, a built-in in the living room where you'll have your TV and a bunch of whole bunch of shelves and doors, you know, cabinets in there. We're going to do a built-in and in the uh, in the cl uh, closet, walk-in closet. We'll probably build like a dresser, and it, you know, the whole walls are just like shelves and boxes, box shelves, all kinds of neat stuff. So we're going to have to. My wife wants to do all that. You got. I guess you got to do it while you're building it. Otherwise, you'll never do it. That's why we got the apartment behind the shop attached to the shop behind it now we're never going to use it but 
I would have rather had a 1600 square foot shop instead of a 1200 square foot shop but oh well we we're going to use it for my mother but she's uh, no longer mobile so she's not going to be able to go we'll move her to another nursing home up there but so we'll use it for family and come over they got a private place to stay if they don't want to stay in a spare bedroom of ours but up here coming up in the Bertram you'll see the tornado damage it just hit right in Bertram right downtown it wiped out that uh, Miguel building and I think they're even tearing it down now because it was an old historic building and they're taking it down then it wiped out this other little shopping center that had a donut place and a, I think an Italian restaurant it's all gone and they even had the streets blocked off over here because it destroyed a whole bunch of stuff in that little it's just a little beach town one stoplight but it's got a little bitty town downtown to it and I think it it just came right through there and pretty much took so much stuff out I'll turn it on in a second I'm coming up to it now